All right, guys. Man, I have been busy. So, here's the 3000. I like it. I got a really good deal, I think. I got rid of some equipment that somebody else can use. Um, I got this radio and that tuner in the deal. I traded off my Fusion dual band radio, my 85 watt Elenco 2 meter radio, my Yaesu FT4X handheld, my Radtel 490, and a Mirage 160 watt 2 meter brick. And so it's always good to get rid of some things when you get rid of some things and you get new things. So got that over here. I started to move some stuff over here. I'm uh, going to take this outside here in a minute because it's absolutely beautiful outside today. I've got to find the screw that I locked for the 901. I've got that working pretty good. Um, so um, got the 101 over here. And I think I'm going to keep it simple, just kind of like this, and um, leave all the accessories just elsewhere because, like, I don't ever use the monitor scope on the 101. The speaker is nice, but really, I, I'm i okay with the one in the radio, too. So I'm going to remove that shelf, and then I have a um, 901 speaker that will go over there. And then um, I'll just have these two radios that I can screw around with, and, like, literally, I could add more stuff um so i got those over there but over here we got uh we got so dedicated this is dedicated it's not hooked to hf it's dedicated two meter and it's 100 watts um if, with my beam i have a really good match but with my vertical it's a uh diamond cp22 stacked 5 8 wave it doesn't want to match it doesn't have a good swr except for low in the band it like really really likes 144 but you get up into the fm simplex and up above that so the radio then starts to fold back power um as far as i understand that this radio has an active swr meter on two meters when we look here, we see we have a little bit of reflection, and we're not putting out 100%, and, and our RF power is all the way up. So, it's something else I need to address. So I have this radio down here, and I've been using it a little bit, not much, <laughs> mostly to compare other stuff. Um, this is for the ladder line, and then these are just here because... Where else am I going to put them? I moved my soldering station down there. I got the power supply. This tuner is modified where the bypass actually bypasses it. Normally these, where it says bypass, it just goes to another connector to bypass it into a dummy load or something. Um, so that is in bypass or can be enabled, which is nice because I can have it tuned for 80 meters and ready to go. And there's the, the matching amplifier, but I, I'm not using that. Uh, I rotate them. Right now I'm using the 10 Tech. Um, but it comes up to here. And we've got the new tuner here, which is nice because it actually has a peak reading meter. And we have the 300 watt scale and the 3000 watt scale. So that would actually read quite a bit of power. And then you get your light and all that good stuff. It's really kind of hard to turn. It's an edge wound roller inductor. You you turn it and you're like, uh, I'm gonna break this thing. And then sometimes it turns pretty good, and then you get to a spot you're like, uh, like right there. I think I might be at the end of it. And so, you know, this is a $849 tuner. I mean, come on, guys, you could have made this thing a little bit better. I mean, I know it's not a PAL star, but for Christ's sakes, like it just does not, you see that it doesn't want to turn. And you're, you're likely to break this off if you put a lot of force on it. So nothing smooth about this thing at all. Um, anyway, we got the 920 all cleaned up. 
And I've got a bunch of different microphones. So far, I have not been able to get a... Um, Ooh, a lady. These guys are all going to get nuts. I thought it was a recording. All right, great. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a safe journey. Uh, we will be here until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. If you wish to check in with any of the other net controllers. And until then, have a safe journey. Thank you, sir. Over. Good night to you. And thank you. Please stand by one. I need to update the database, and I'll be back to call for general check-ins in just a moment, please. Anyway. Thank you, Ron. W-A-4-D-P. Thank you for the relay, sir. Station, please stand by one, and I'll be right back to you to take general check-ins. So, I got this stuff over here. It's like, um, I don't know. I, I like the Hot Water 101. I don't like this Temple one. But maybe if the Temple one worked really good, I'd probably like it, too. But it just, it feels kind of cheap. And it's not made like a 101 at all. If, Aeronautical Mobile. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but like I, my ear is very good, and I can hear that there was probably 20 different weak stations that all came back. Anyway, so here we got this 901 speaker that can go over here. We still don't like having the 710 over there. And then the 1200 is up here. And then, uh, you know, this is all books and stuff like that. But I'm still moving stuff around, but I really do like having that back there. 